You're currently part of a community college. Um, I, I, I assist here. I, it's a, they use my curriculum, and um, um, and this is my third year doing this with them. So, what is the nature of your relationship with them? Um, I, I kind of co-teach. I just kind of help out. Um, actually, I only planned on being here one year, and this is my third year. Um, and I'm just kind of helping Gail. Gail is who I'm working with, and she's got it. She just don't have confidence in herself, but she's just got it so good. What is Gail? What's Gail's job? Gail's a, uh, one of the teachers here. And who is she teaching? Uh, she, t she teaches a number of things, but we do a brain injury curriculum, um, three-quarter curriculum they do, and um, um, it's to help. And our focus really is for folks who want to go to work, you know, um, whether that be, because um, they have some incredible programs, um, I'll get into that, but they, these are folks that want to go to work that haven't been able to work, but folks who want to get a better education to get a better, better employment. And it's really focused, this aspect of it, to get people working, uh, but we also have some students here that want to be more involved in community too, so we do a lot of community things. Um, but it's just, you know, for people who have been isolated, you know, want to do something with their lives, and um, there's no lack of people to, to, to um, so let me get a sense of the, an overbreadth of what it is that you're currently doing in terms of advocacy. You have, you're moving on, which is, um, what's the status that, of that? That's education. Yeah, so because I do have it, and um, it is just creating leaders. That was my main goal: is to help create more leaders. You know, because as we've grown, you know, um, we need more people to lead. You know, without you can't keep growing if you don't have leaders. And then you have um, the moving in, which is a um, cor corollary to that. Correct. Yeah. For when, once you have your plan and it's working, you know, what now? Okay. Then you have the um, work you do here at community college. And um, then you have, is it the TBI Survivors Network? Right, well and then I make my money through the high schools. So that's one grant I, that I get. I work with high school students. Um, currently I'm doing 11 high schools around our, around our state and um, it's part of their classroom time. I'm teaching them accommodations. Um, um, it's a curriculum called uh, Reaching My Own Greatness. It's um, developing what they're good at, what they like to do. So when you talk, you say you're teaching high school students, you're teaching um, non-brain injury high school Brain students? injury, all, any so student with disabilities. Just disability. general population high school students? Students with disabilities only. Okay. So it's all high, it's high school students with disabilities mm -hmm. and you're teaching them what? Um, number one, um, to appreciate their gifts that they have because they're in a tough system. People don't realize what they go through. Um, we're teaching them first, it starts off um, with their gifts, that they're great, that they're perfect the way they are, um, that it's society that is having a problem, um, teaching them to dream again. You know, it was unheard of for students to go to college. Um, we're getting students graduating with masters. Um, we had our first, you appreciate this, our first TBI survivor graduate with a law degree. Um, <laughs> she's on our board this year, so um, she actually knows you'll have to go talk about it. Um, when you say she's uh, on our board, board of what? I'm, our, my not, I have a, my own nonprofit, which and is that is the TBI TBI Survivors Network. Okay. And then um, I also have a subsidiary under People First International, which um, very loyal to People First.